There are my raised beds. We've got the grocery garlic. You can see how they look. Getting pretty tall. Coming along nicely. Right next to it are the French red shallots. Also looking good. Get a little weight there and pull out. And the elephant garlic on the back. Grab the camera. I wanted to show you this. You can see the leeks all around the border there, and also I planted some of the leftover candy onions, some little things here. We'll see how they come along. Here's some more candies on the edge. But take a look at that. I never expected the asparagus to be out and about this early. Popping through all over. So pulled two spears off there because they were the right size. Looks like in the next few days I'll be pulling a lot of spears. So that's pretty cool. I'll show you my plum cot. It's in flower. And leaping out. This is just an apple I'm going to graft to it later, but this is one my wife's uncle gave us from seed. I don't think that'll produce a viable apple, so I'll probably graft to it. Peaches. Pink blooms. Some of them are starting to come out. It's a nice, healthy looking tree. And this one is the one that had some issues. Mostly it's, uh, looks like it's, might not make it. But the ones on either side of it seem to be doing okay. This one's budding out all over. And this one's even beginning to flower. That's just oh, absolutely beautiful. I love those flowers. pink lady apple and you can see little spurs right there those will send off little blooms to make apples and this is what they said happens when it's too wet that dark color but it might still leaf out I'm hoping That is an unknown apple, again, from my wife's uncle. This is a Macintosh. It's struggled since I planted it several years ago. And uh, I put up some new uh, limbs here. It allowed me to cut that one off. It was dying back. Hopefully that will recover. I've got some blooms on some spurs, so if all goes well, they may, uh, these are fruiting spurs, they may actually produce an apple, but, you know, it's wishful thinking. Down here on the end is the Stella cherry. It's a self-pollinating cherry. And it is starting to send out buds. So that one came back. That's a good deal. I'm happy about that. All the pears look similar to this. This is a Purdue pear. It was a pear found in southern Louisiana, I believe. It grew exceptionally well. It's very similar to the Bartlett pear. This is a hood, another one that grows, a hood pear, another one that grows well in the south. And it is also sort of similar to the Bartlett. This is a moon glow. Arkansas. It's also coming on pretty good. And the commas, which is known to be 
a high quality pear. It's the one you get in those fruit baskets and whatnot. And it is coming on as well. It seems to be a little more fragile. The uh, little limbs are smaller in diameter. But uh, hopefully that will do well. And you see a quick look at the pond there. It's about full. So that's what's going on in the orchard. March 28th. Here are the strawberries and the pill bug planters. And I just use a little brush to dabble on here. And you can see that this one's been pollinated, it's starting to grow. And uh, they're looking pretty good. This one's been pollinated, and it's starting to grow. And uh, I'm liking it so far. Even the ones over here that are a month behind it. They're putting on multiple clusters in most of the planters. There, it's a pretty flower already pollinated. I'm going to go up on top. You can see one there along with flowers. This was uh, some that I had sitting in here from last year and you see how dense they are the crown just became really dense and they haven't started exploding with growth like the ones that were chilled in the refrigerator for a long period of time they're more here's another one they're more compact I don't know which one's the better way to go but it, it seems like the uh, the ones that were chilled like this one here is putting out lots of flowers and uh, normally, from what I've read, you're supposed to take the flowers off on the first year, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have them make and make and make, and then when they produce runners, I'll take the runners off before they even root and try to experiment with uh, rootless runners in the fridge. That one's pollinated. Saw that one already, and uh, we will see if I can keep them in the fridge for a couple months and um, just the runners without roots. Well, I got a lot of new growth going on there. Big, you can see the leaves are pretty good size. Oh, there's a bird in here, but so far I'm really enjoying the the strawberries and how they're working out and um, I would call that a success I'd, I'd have to kill them off to to not have the uh, chilling them in the refrigerator work so big healthy leaves and uh, I'll give you little updates as we go here are my collards and I've already pulled a bunch of leaves off a few days ago and man these things are already coming back aggressively and so in each little, I guess it's about a 12 inch diameter here, pot, I'm growing four collards plants. And um, these are brassica, same family as cabbages and broccoli. And uh, they love this and they are doing exceptionally well, as you can see in those three pots. I've got some carrots here that I dense planted. You've probably seen them many times before. And uh, there are a lot of them in there, but I will see if I can pull one out real quick. There you go. And that's, uh, I pulled some out the other day, and that's what they pretty much all look like. And they are super sweet, good stuff. So. I think that's a keeper, you know, you mass plant them in a container like that and you pull out what you need and that's all you got to do. So, you know, four or five of these would make a nice stew for a pretty good sized family. Right next to it are my sugar snap peas and uh, these things are taller than me now. and. They are producing. 
and uh, I pulled all the pods off probably a few days ago uh, before I went to visit my mom on the coast and they're flowering and they're continuing to produce there's one back there so I'm quite content with that just come out to the garden and you know pull a few things and I've got me a nice pot of soup which we happen to love potatoes well I need to add some soil to these these are more than six inches tall but I've been gone for three days and uh, these are red Pontiac and the next all the remaining ones over here are red Norland and it even grew <laughs> it sent a uh, shoot out of a hole that I had in here I, used, I planted uh, tomatoes in these a, a couple of years ago and uh, used the wicking system and this was a hole for one of the wicks and the, the potato found its way out but anyway potatoes are looking quite healthy quite strong and uh, even with the cooler weather this particular one I put some uh, some soil in it and it seems like it's having a little bit of a struggle coming back not too bad but I imagine it'll be okay and these are the brothers and sisters to that one in these next four and they're doing quite well I gotta harvest my spinach this is my spinach tub and uh, there's a good mess of spinach on that. 